System inequalities, sketching the graph. What are they? An inequality compares two values, showing if one is less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, or not equal to. Why? It helps to figure out your maximum or minimum budget. Interesting fact. During a display ceremony, the peacock will stand its tail feathers up to form a fan that stretches out nearly 2 meters or 6.5 feet in length. And now, let's take a look at the examples we're going to discuss in today's video. Let's take a closer look at example 1. Now, let's read the steps. Step 1. Determine if dotted or solid line. Step 2. Plot and graph. Step 3. Shade overlapping parts. Now, let's read the question. Sketch the graph of the system, where we have x plus y is less than 2, and 2x minus y is less than or equal to 4. First, we're going to go through the graphing of each line a bit faster than normal. So if we need to go through that part slower, there are videos on that below. Let's start with y plus x is less than 2. Here we pick 0 for y and solve for x, and our result is x is less than 2, which means our first point is 2, 0. Now, since we're finding points, the sign doesn't matter, so it could be less than or equals. It is up to you. So let's graph our first point. Next, let's substitute 0 for x and solve for y. And our result is y is less than 2, which means our point is 0, 2. Now, let's graph our second point. Now, let's draw our line. Why do we think we have a dotted line? That is correct. We only have less than. The inequality x plus y is less than 2 does not have or equal to. Remember, we either shade to the left or to the right. If we don't remember the patterns for that, we can always pick two points, one on each side of the line, and shade where it is true. This time we pick the points 0, 0 and 2, 2. Let's substitute the first point 0, 0 into y plus x is less than 2, and our result is true, because 0 is less than 2 is true. Let's check the other point before we shade anything. So let's substitute the second point, 2, 2, into y plus x is less than 2. And our result is false, because 4 is less than 2 is false. Now we know to shade to the left. Next, let's graph 2x minus y is less than or equal to 4. Here we pick 0 for x and solve for y. And our result is y is greater than or equal to negative 4 which means our first point is 0, negative 4. So let's graph our first point. Next, let's substitute 0 for y and solve for x. And our result is x is less than or equal to 2, which means our second point is 2, 0. Now, let's graph our second point. Now, let's draw our line. Why do we think we have a solid line? That is correct. The inequality 2x minus y less than or equal to 4 has an or equal to sign. Now, let's get rid of the previous shading so we can focus on just this inequality. Remember, we either shade to the left or to the right. Now, let's bring back the previous results. Let's pick two points, in this case, 1, 2, and 4, 2. Now, let's substitute the first point, 4, 2, into 2x minus y is less than or equal to 4. And our result is false, because 6 is less than or equal to 4 is false. Let's check the other point before we shade anything. So let's substitute the second point, 1, 2, into 2x minus y is less than or equal to 4. And our result is true, because 0 is less than or equal to 4 is true. Now we know to shade left. Remember, there's a yellow section behind one of the blue sections, and yellow and blue make green and green is where both inequalities overlap. Let's get rid of the extra bits. That is example 1. Let's move on to example 2. Now, let's read the question. Sketch the graph of the system, where we have x plus y is less than 5, 2x minus y is less than 4, x is greater than 1, and y is greater than 1. First, we're going to go through the graph of each line a bit faster than normal. So if we need to go through that part slower, there are videos on that below. Let's start with x plus y is less than 5. Here, we pick 0 for x and solve for y. 
and our result is y is less than 5, which means our first point is 0, 5. Once again, we're finding points. The sign doesn't matter, so it could be less than or equals. It is up to you. So let's graph our first point. Next, let's substitute 0 for y and solve for x, and our result is x is less than 5, which means our second point is 5, 0. Now, let's graph our second point. Now, let's draw a line. Why do we think we have a dotted line? That is correct. We only have less than. The inequality x plus y is less than 5 does not have or equal to. Remember, we either shade to the left or to the right. If we don't remember the patterns for that, we can always pick two points, one on each side of the line, and shade where it's true. This time we pick the points 1, 1 and 4, 3. Let's substitute the first point 1, 1 into y plus x is less than 5. And our result is true because 2 is less than 5 is true. Let's check the other point before we shade anything. So let's substitute the second point 4, 3 into y plus x is less than 5. And our result is not true, or false if you prefer, because 7 is less than 5 is not true. Now we know to shade to the left. Next, let's graph 2x minus y is less than 4. Here we pick 0 for x and solve for y. And our result is y is greater than negative 4, which means our first point is 0, negative 4. Now, let's graph our first point. Next, let's substitute 0 for y and solve for x. And our result is x is less than 2, which means our second point is 2, 0. Now, let's graph our second point. Now, let's draw our line. Why do we think we have a dotted line? That is correct. We only have less than. The inequality 2x minus y is less than 4 does not have or equal to. Remember, we either shade to the left or to the right. If we don't remember the patterns for that, we can always pick two points, one on each side of the line, and shade where it's true. This time we pick the points 2, 4 and 4, 2. Let's substitute the first point. 4, 2 and 2, 2x minus y is less than 4. And our result is not true, or false if you prefer, because 6 is less than 5 is not true. Let's check the other point before we shade anything. So let's substitute the second point, 2, 4, into 2x minus y is less than 4. And our result is true, because negative 4 is less than 4 is true. Now we know to shade to the left. Now, let's get rid of the extra bits and leave where the two inequalities overlap. I think purple and yellow make a light brown. Correct me if I am wrong. Now, let's graph x is greater than 1. Luckily for us, we only have one variable, which is x in this case. So we already know the x point for each of our two points. This time we pick the points 1, 2, and 1, negative 3. Let's graph these two points. Now, let's draw our line. Which part do we think is where all the points overlap? The one on the left or the right? Let's find out using the points negative 2, negative 3, and 2, negative 3. If you know already, that is awesome. So let's substitute the first point, negative 2, negative 3, and 2, x is greater than 1. Remember, we only had one variable, so we need to substitute negative 2 and 2, x is greater than 1. And our result is not true, because negative 2 is greater than 1 is not true. Let's check the other point before we shade anything. So let's substitute the second point, 2, negative 3, and 2, x is greater than 1. And our result is true, because 2 is greater than 1. So let's shade to the right. Do we get that correct? Fantastic. Let's go. Now, let's get rid of the extra bits and leave where the three inequalities overlap. I think brown and orange make red. Let me know. Finally, let's graph y is greater than 1. Luckily for us, we only have one variable, which is y in this case. So we already know the y point for each of our two points. This time we pick the two points, negative 4, 1, and negative 2, 1. Let's graph these two points. Now, let's draw our line. 
Which part do we think is where all the points overlap? The one on top or the bottom? Let's find out using the two points, negative 2, 2, and negative 2, negative 1. If you know already, that is awesome. So let's substitute the first point, negative 2, 2, into y is greater than 1. Remember, we only have one variable, so we need to substitute 2 into y is greater than 1. And our result is true, because 2 is greater than 1 is true. Let's check the other point, before we shade anything. So let's substitute the second point, negative 2, negative 1, into y is greater than 1. And our result is not true, or false if you prefer, because negative 1 is greater than 1 is not true. So let's shade on top. Did we get that correct? Fantastic. Let's go. Now, let's get rid of the extra bits and leave where the four inequalities overlap. That is example 2. Now, it is your turn. So go ahead and pause the video here so you can take your time and I will show you the result in 3, 2, and 1. Here's the graph of x minus y is less than 2 and here is the graph with negative 3x minus 2y is less than or equal to 6. Did you get it correct? Awesome. If not, there's always tomorrow.